Chris, though, though uh, Uzi, as we're, we're continuing to talk about the regional implications of exactly what is happening on the ground, as we can see with these images, uh, Owen mentioned Saudi Arabia. This is one of our partners that we were hoping for before this, and it seems like, although some people might speculate that one of the goals with Hamas was to put that off track, that doesn't necessarily seem to be the case. Yeah, but I think that such speculations are in place. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm not saying that uh, Iran was actually providing the uh, exact details and nitty-gritty details about this whole barbaric act. But uh, I would say that uh, Iran served as a source of inspiration for that. And, and, and we have to understand, if we're going to open up the map, and our uh, uh, audience is going to see that if Saudi Arabia is going through sort of a process of normalization with Israel, there is a block from the Gulf to Egypt and Jordan, which blocks Iran from having a set of, let's say, room for maneuver in the Middle East, but only the red up marker. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speech. And, 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 and listen, this is, you know, Netanyahu, yes or no, this is not good, but, but he was right, uh, actually uh, uh, alluding to that, because we have here sort of a division of labor, so to speak, between what we call actually West NATO and Arab let us say, moderate states, quote-unquote, and Israel. On the other side, you have Russia, China, Iran, and company. And this is exactly what where we do stand. And this is why it is so important that Israel would perform in kind of a way that would be very ultimate and very, very blunt when it comes to Hamas at Gaza. Why? This is basically the litmus test. If Israel is going actually to just do the job as it basically asserted, uh, I think that that would uh, send a message to the other players in the Middle East. And having said that, we do, we do know that Israel has actually to just open the file of Hezbollah in, in Lebanon. This is something that is not bearable also, and it would take time. So we are, in my opinion, in sort of a long process by which actually Israel and its allies or United States and allies in the region are going actually to just set the stage for uh, uh, this platform. And let's just me remind you, just in a, in a final note, Blinken was in Jordan meeting actually foreign ministers of Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Jordan, and uh, Palestinian Authority. What is the common denominator? All of them would vie for a Middle East actually without Hamas. Hamas and uh, 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 similar actually organizations. What we're going to do in the day after, it's a different uh, story. But we have to understand that we won't be there as long as actually Hamas and company are still here.